hi hello welcome to our youtube channel today we are going to see how to use this ldr light dependent resistor with the bc547 transistor so you know how this bc547 transistor works so i'm going to use this uh, bc547 to switch on this uh, led as as in when the light falls on the ldr so this is the bigger LDR that I have. Usually there is small size as well. So according to the, your need of the project, you should use this. So you have the circuit diagram here. Just follow the circuit, uh, circuit diagram and I'm going to connect it as per the circuit diagram that you're saying. The first thing is our transistor. Just reminding you that when, you, when I hold the transistor to my left, left hand, and this flat surface is facing to my face. This is collector, center is a base, and this last one is the emitter. So, yes, I've done my base, and I'm going to connect this. Uh, okay, my LDR is connected to the base of the transistor, and I'm going to connect, uh, I'm going to give the power supply to the LED. Okay, LED, you have two terminals the big one is a positive, the small one is the negative. So here I'm going to connect the big one to the positive terminal and um, okay we are using one kilo ohms resistance here because we are going to supply nine volt nine volt battery here so the LED needs only three volt that's why we are using a resistance here if you are using a three volt here and not a nine volt you don't have you don't need to use this resistance so that's it we are going to give the power supply okay we, we have not given a ground supply here okay so emitter is ground and I'm going to take it like this then give my ground here okay that's the connection is over and uh, so I'm going to give this plus here and uh, and then minus here wow can you see this LED is glowing okay why is it glowing it's because the light here in my camera is falling onto the LDR and that's why it's glowing Okay, let's see that, uh, let's arrest the light falling onto the uh, LDR by closing it like this by hand. Oh, nothing is happening. So, what, why is that it's, nothing is happening? I'm arresting the voltage, but there's not, okay, let me do it sincerely. So, I'm going to close it like this. I could see the LED has gone dimmer. And uh, when I remove my hand, it's going brighter. But that's not how it should work, right? It should switch off. So why is it happening is because the LDR is actually passing a minimum uh, voltage here which which is enough for the transistor to work. So to arrest the minimum voltage from the, the LDR we are going to use 1 meg ohms resistance here. So I am going to connect one end of the base and the other uh, end I am going to put it to the ground. Okay. So, uh, why am I using this 1 meg is to arrest the voltage? Now, if I arrest the brightness to the LDR, let's see what's happening. Wow, now it's working, it's switched off. So, when light is allowed to fall on the LDR, the LED is glowing. So, when I arrest the light falling onto the L LDR, now it's off. On, off. So, this 1 meg ohms, you can, uh, if there's more brightness, the place where you're uh, using the sensor, you can use 2 meg or 3 meg according to the, uh, the light amount of lights there. That's what we call trisvolt value. You can decide that with a potentiometer if you know you can have a variable resistor and then you can adjust that according to the light sensitivity. So, uh, so here uh, one more thing I want you to closely examine. Now the uh, LED is completely off. So I'm going to just allow, allow few lights to fall on the LDR. Can you see this? The moment I just allow few light to fall on the LDR, it's glowing. So uh, this proves that the amount of light falling on the LDR is equal to the resistance value that is changes. So when slight vari variation in the LDR, that also affects the transistor and voltage between the collector and emitter is passing. Can you see this? Okay, I'm going to just shift like this. There's mild one. Okay, now it's off. Also replace this with the. Uh, with the buzzer i'm going to remove this one here led and i'm going to connect the buzzer here okay i have the buzzer here i'm going to connect to one end to the positive just replacing the led that's all the connection is as same as how we use the led so plus to the plus and minus to the 
you can use the resistance if you want here or as I said you don't need a resistance for this buzzer since this buzzer can work up to 12 volt so we are supplying only 9 volt so close it like this this is making too much noise so now let's see uh, I'm going to arrest this by closing it by okay the noise is zero so let me allow mild can you see this I'm allowing small amount of light to fall on the LDR the buzzer is just Uh, okay, this project you can use it anywhere where you want to as a burglar or a trespasser as you have seen the series of BC5 for students. We are going to learn a lot of things with this battery buzzer series. So, I uh, hope this video was useful. I want you to uh, do this project for yourself. Okay, I'm going to. I want you all to do this project for yourself and uh, leave your comment in the comment section and do subscribe the channel. And uh, thank you for watching. Bye-bye, take care.